and his outstanding challenger from Philadelphia, Kitten Hayward. And ladies and gentlemen, a former boxing great in the well-awake division, the boy you'll never fail to please, Billy Graham. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, the Olympic heavyweight champion from Philadelphia, Joe Fraser. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, boy from Philadelphia, he challenged the winner tonight, Georgie Benton. You're looking in on something very special tonight. The Giardello Carter match is the first championship fight to be telecast in five long years. And the same great company that brings you so many of TV's top sporting events is picking up the tab for this history making contest. The folks who make one beautiful beer. Now you know I'm talking about Schmitz. Schmitz of Philadelphia. Man, this is beer as beer should be. No wonder every day more and more beer lovers are getting into Schmidt's corner. And once you tie in with this great beer, you stay with it, round after round. It's that good, and blending is the reason. You see, Schmidt's is a dry beer, a mellow beer, a hearty beer, blended into one beautiful beer. So get with a great one. Tonight's fight, all your other favorite sporting events. Well, just about anything is more fun with the special flavor of Schmidt's, one beautiful beer. Now to Pete Byron in ringside again. Pete has introduced uh, the judges, and now we'll introduce Wearing the referee. Wearing white trunks with black stripe, weighing 158 and one half pounds, from Patterson, New Jersey, Ruben, the challenger, Hurricane Carter. And there he is, the challenger, Ruben Hurricane Carter, with his and beard. And his opponent wearing the black trunks with the white stripe, weighing 160 pounds, the middleweight champion of the world, Joey Giardello. And there's Joey, the champion of the world. And now Pete will announce the referee. In the corner with the champion, his counsel, Arnold Giovanetti, Ladies Adolf Ritaco, and Joe Polino. Paulus. And there's Bob there Polis, the referee, to follow. in the corner now, with the challenger, Pat Amato, Jimmy Wilde, and John Keener. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. Joey Giardello, Lenny Herman, our national anthem. Atlantic City. He's fighting Hurricane Carter, who in 20 fights has won 14. Now to ring and You've the You've been given your instructions in the commission office, and I expect you to abide by their rulings. Briefly, if there's a knockdown, I want the one scoring the knockdown to go to the farthest corner, neutral corner, and wait till I signal you to come out. If there's a knockdown, the mandatory eight count is in effect. The three down, three knockdown rule is also in effect. Any questions? Good luck to both of you. May the best man win. Bob Polis, the referee, and this is the first championship fight wherein the mandatory eight count in case of a knockdown, loss of the fight when forward three times in one round, and the count continues after the bell ending a round if a man is floored in less than 10 seconds before the bell. The bell rings, Giardello in the black trunks, Carter in the white trunks, Reuben Hurricane Carter, 12 knockouts in 20 fights. Giardello in his 127th fight, his first title defense, Giardello in the black trunks, lands the first punch, a light left hand. Carter is explosive early in a fight, takes a light left on the chin. Carter quickly goes into Giardello with a series of left hands. He knocked out Emil Griffith in one round in Pittsburgh in a non-title fight. He can detonate a bomb, this hurricane. Both miss, and then Carter lands the left hand, as you saw. 
Watch Carter. He has tremendously fast hands. Of course, Joey is the classic counterpuncher and boxer. Takes two hard lefts to the body. They say Carter is a hungry contender, but Joey is also a hungry champion. He's waited 12 months to defend. It was postponed in October, originally scheduled for Las Vegas. Hurricane Carter has never gone 15 rounds. Twice has gone 10. Giardello twice has gone 15. Feeling each other out, and Giardello likes the man who moves in on him. Carter certainly will oblige. Carter with a left. He's got a Dr. Fu Manchu mustache left from the goatee he had earlier. That was taken off just before weigh-in today at noon. Carter, countering with a left hand, catches Joey on the nose. Giardello with that educated left hand. Joey likes to block, pull back, let the other man move, and then counter. But don't sell Giardello's punch short either. He's knocked out 36 opponents in 126 fights over 16 years. Carter to the body, tied up against the corner. Neither man has really been hit hard thus far. Halfway through round number one of the middleweight championship of the world, 15 rounds or less. Overhand right by Giardello and a countering left to the body, Carter. Right over our microphone, Carter works to the body. And then Giardello with the chops in close. Bob Polos, the referee. A terrific combination by the champion who was then hit with a left hand. You saw him slip. He was not staggered. He slipped. That time it was Carter doing the countering. Joey with a combination and then pulls back. We've seen Hurricane Carter doing the countering. The bell, end of round one. Then some beautiful fighting in this first round, the kind of top performance you can expect from a couple of real pros. And when you look for top performance in a beer round after round, you'll find it in Schmidt's one beautiful beer. Schmidt's of Philadelphia, one beautiful beer. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Beautiful. Yes, Schmitz is a dry beer, a mellow beer, a hearty beer, blended into one beautiful beer. Schmitz of Philadelphia. Good idea to buy Schmitz in the six-pack or the four-pack of big 16-ounce glass cans. That way you'll always be ready to pour one beautiful beer. Quick word from Hal Freeman. Hal, in the first round, little to choose so far. Mm, pretty close right there, although I think that Giardello uh, seemed a little more educated in his method of boxing, but Carter packs a mean one. Wait, look at those muscles. He's a physical specimen. Of course, experience is on the champion side. Round number two. Bear in mind, Carter has the explosive punch in the early round. The Hurricane is from Patterson, New Jersey, and Joey from South Philadelphia here in Pennsylvania. We're at Convention Hall in Philadelphia. The experts feel that the experience and stamina is on the side of the champion. A wild right hand missed by Carter. And again, it's the defensive savvy of the champion that might very well be a deciding factor. Of course, if Carter lands a bomb, all pre-fight statistics go down the drain. Change left hands, a little more pr uh, punch on the part of Carter with the left. Joey misses a haymaker. That had a message on it. Two left hands by the champion. A left to the body, Giardello. Carter seemingly biding his time.
missed as Giardello ducked under. The ball painted Hurricane Carter, the challenger. <laughs> Neither man marked. We're halfway through round number two. Carter missing. Carter with a right to the kidneys, but Giardello moving clockwise away from him. Carter's last two fights ended in round one. He won two one-round knockouts. Joey on the move, constantly clockwise. Exchange lefts. Neither man marked, neither man hurt thus far. Less than a minute to go in the second round. His last two outings, decisions over Rocky Rivero in Cleveland. Both went ten rounds. Giardello with the educated left twice. Okay, Joey! There's the looping right hand by the champion and the right left by Giardello. And the crowd behind him as the champion moves in with his combinations again, a right to the body, Giardello. Joey coming on strong now. The bell ending round two. And here's Hal Freeman. As much of the pre-fight talk was about Giardello's working hard to go 15 rounds and not much was said about Reuben Hurricane Carter but his he has somewhat of a dedication to boxing he's they call him surly they say that he's not very cooperative with people who want to interview him and people who want to talk with him but uh, he, he's dedicated himself to this boxing you know and he came down into worked out in the same gym with Giardello of course at a later time and made a fast legion of friends in the few days that he was here he came into town uh, last Wednesday and uh, built a big following in only the four days that he worked there. But he, he comes into this boxing game purely dedicated. He has, it's somewhat of a cult with him. He was very strange about his goatee. He would not take it off until the day, uh, right today, right before the weigh-in. And, but of course, Joey looks in the best shape of his career. He trained hard for the 15 rounds. All right, Hal, Joey's only lost 22 times in 126 fights. Two wins over Rivero since winning the title. They were over the weight. He beat Dick Tiger on Pearl Harbor Day in Atlantic City of 63. Tiger has challenged the winner of this one. A hard right to the eye. Hurricane Carter landing his best punch. That was a pip of a right thrown by the hurricane. Landed on the left eye. Another right, but Joey was ducking under it. Watch Giardello work in close. He's a master at infighting. First Carter wants one good shot. Joey Giardello was a long time getting a shot at the title and winning it. Fighting a draw with Gene Fulmer several years ago in Bozeman, Montana. It was the closest he's come until he defeated Dick Tiger. Bob Polis is the third man in the ring. Long left, but Giardello backpedaling away. A right to the air, and Carter lands a bomb and then misses two more, and Giardello forced him to miss three straight after that. But Carter definitely landed a right. And then Joey forced him to miss three. There's Carter smiling for the first time, then getting hit with the right. <clears throat> of course, Giardello's been hit by the best of them in a career spanning 16 years. Age, a question. Joey, 34. There have been those asking, can he go 15 against a puncher like Carter? We're halfway through round three. Neither man hurt. Although Carter landed a pip of a right hand. Carter's smiling now through clenched teeth. And then he gets hit with a right. Giardello likes a man who comes in and throws bombs at him. If he can counter, go from side to side, straight lefts exchange. Those close to the Giardello camp say Joey is in the best shape of his career for this fight. They had planned to fight in October in Las Vegas, and after a two-week intermission, they started training again, both of them. 
Giardello backed away from a chopping right hook. Carter, a physical specimen. He's got muscles on muscles. Left hand. Carter poised with the right, held back, and takes the left to the chop thrown by the champion. Watch the champion work in close. This is round three. The bell. Okay, you can relax for a minute now. I'll give you enough time to rustle up another glass of Schmitz. Great sport and great beer. They just naturally go together. And if you really love beer, why settle for anything less than the ultimate? Schmitz of Philadelphia. Beer as beer should be. I guess now everybody who has ever tried it knows that Schmitz is the beautiful beer. If you're holding on to something less than Schmitz, you just try one beautiful beer, and I'm betting you'll be a Schmitz fan right down to the final bell. A light, dry, fun beer. Schmitz, just beautiful. Here's Hal Freeman. Les, we saw there that uh, Giardello doesn't seem to have as terrific a punch as, as Carter. Giardello has not landed really a solid punch in this fight yet. He hasn't thrown a good right hand. But uh, if he can just keep the pace going and get past the sixth or seventh round, I think that we'll see a, a long distance fight. And here's round four, Les Kiter. The champion just winked in our direction. Joey supremely confident as always. But Hurricane Carter, a man on a mission tonight. Giardello immediately moving clockwise. Hands at the ready and Carter with a left hand down takes a light left tap on the cheek. The bald pate belongs to Hurricane Carter. First name, Reuben. Carter fainted a couple of times and threw a right. Giardello ducked under him. Carter fastened a sneer on Joey in the second round. He's kept it since. Reminiscent of a man named Liz. A battle of left hands thus far. Both men exploiting the left or right to the ear thrown by Carter. And Joey winced at that. I think there's a cut on the left side of Joey's face. There is. Carter has drawn blood. Trickling cut on the eye. Cut right over the left eyebrow is the champion. Just at the corner of the left eyebrow and it's trickling blood slightly at the moment. Bob Polis, the referee. So Carter draws blood for the first time. Misses a right uppercut. Lands a left to the nose of the champion. The champ misses twice. Another left by Carter, and Carter's getting to Giardello. Joey ties him up right over our microphone. Carter doing well inside now. Carter's best round up to here. Mean cut now on the left eyebrow of the champion, and blood trickling down. At this juncture, it does not look like a serious cut. Giardello with a looping right, Carter bobbing, weaving. The crowd up in the air, you hear him. Gioi Giardello throwing combinations now. Carter with a hard left knock. Giardello into the ropes. Right to the body by Carter. And the champion holding on definitely now to clear his head. As a right hand hit him in the eye, left to the chin by Carter. Carter working the champion over, and Joey's in trouble against the ropes. Joey fights back, but his left eye badly cut now. A laceration on the left eyebrow, and Carter throwing the bombs here in round four. But here comes the champion back with a right to the chin. The test of a champion, how he can fight when he's hurt. And we're seeing now, here's Joey. With all Carter in this round until right now. Champion trying to fight back. A right to the body, Giardello, but not too much effect. And a left, tied up. Giardello with a mean cut now on the left eyebrow. Knocked off. His feet momentarily into the upper strand of the ropes. At one point, here's Giardello working on the body in a combination. Carter gets him against the ropes and the bell. Coming out of round four, I hope you're enjoying this fight with a beer as beer should be. Schmitz of Philadelphia. One beautiful beer. Beautiful beer. Of Philadelphia, Schmitz is a dry beer, a mellow beer, a hearty beer, blended into one beautiful beer. Schmitz! One beautiful beer. 
Remember, you can get Schmitz in bottles, throw away glass cans, and on draft. But no matter how you buy it, it's always one beautiful beer. They're working feverishly now over in Giardella's corner, but he has one of the best cut men in the business, Les. That's Joe Polino, who's worked for a number of champions. He worked for Liston, and they seem to have the eye patched up. Now will come the real test whether Joey can come back strong. Here's round five and Les Kiter. The photographers uh, move to ringside with their cameras ready. Round number five, Carter definitely had his best round and cut Joey. Here's Joey coming back right at the bell. A one-two punch by the champion to open round number five at Convention Hall in Philadelphia. Hurricane Carter, the challenger. That's a patch on Joey's left eyebrow. He was cut in round number four. Joey went in, looked around, got out of there. Light left, Giardello. Joey moving clockwise. Carter continuous, continuously stalking his man, bobbing, weaving. Joey with a left jab. Watch Carter as he stalks the champion now. He's got that Fu Manchu mustache. Makes him a distinctive looking warrior in there. Make no mistake about him, Carter can hit. And Joey knows it now. A left to the chin by the champion. Carter, of course, has fast hands. Every now and then, there's a light right thrown by Carter. Giardello backing away, but Joey letting him know he's the champion. Throws the right, misses the follow-up. Left jab, Carter. Joey's cut reopened here in round five. Left to the face, Carter. Not too much effect on him. Joey has not changed his style since round one. Long left cross. Giardello and then the left jab. Carter backing away. It had no material effect on him. There's a light left the body, a right to the body, and a left to the head. Giardello with a combination again. Joey is deft at combinations. Carter wants the bomb. Always looking for the opening. They're boxing more in round five after an explosive fourth round hard left to the head. Giardello tied up by Carter. That's Bob Pullis, the referee. We're late in round number five, middleweight championship of the world at stake. Hard left to the body by the champion. Looked like that went into the wrist deep that time. But Carter looks like he did not feel any effect on it at all. There's a light left missing by Carter and Giardello misses a left. A hard left to the chin thrown by Carter against the ropes. That cut has not reopened on the left eyebrow of Giardello thus far. It was cut in the fourth round. A hard left to the chin and just as we say that the blood trickles down. The bell. Both boys still in there giving it all they've got and that's quite a bit. Put two top flight fighters together and you'll really get performance. Same goes for beer. You always pick a winner when you plunk your coin on Schmidt's. One beautiful beer. It delivers a kind of flavor a real beer lover longs for. Round after round after round. Keep a good supply in your corner with a handy six packs. That's Schmidt's of Philadelphia. One beautiful beer. You know, this is the, the real difference here. Joey Giardello at 34 seems to be working very hard in this fight. Carter has a smile on his face. He hasn't lost that smile since the second round, and it seems to be a lot of fun for him in there tonight. Joey is working hard, and it, it, it just seems to be taking everything out of him, and that seven years is playing quite a big role in this fight. Here's Les Kiter. 126 fights on the log for Giardello. This is number 21 in the career of young Carter. Stamina, one of the keys to the fight. Giardello already looks like he's been at war, and Carter unmarked thus far. Neither man down, neither man visibly hurt, although Carter had a pip of a fourth round. Giardello made it closer in the fifth. Giardello ducking under a right and took it on the shoulder blades. This is round number six. Fifteen rounds or less for the middleweight championship of the world. This is Giardello's first defense of the title that he won 11 months ago in Atlantic City, or 12 months ago. It was Pearl Harbor Day. 
There's a hard left by Giardello, and he got away from Carter's countering punch. The left eye was cut, reopened at the bell, ending round five, and now it looks okay. You tuned in late. That's Giardello's left eyebrow that was cut. Carter unmarked thus far. That ball tape glistening. Light left, just a probing uh, left by Giardello. Wild right, and then Giardello landed to the body with a left hand. Giardello, of course, an adept body puncher. Fights in combinations. Here's Carter hitting it with a left to the chin, a right to the chin. Gets Giardello against the rope, pounds to the body. Joey caught most of them with the elbows. But make no mistake about it, the Hurricane hitting with a left and a right against the ring, against the uh, rope. Carter, they said, would only throw bombs for four rounds. We're in round six. He's still throwing them. A hard right, jolting right by Carter. Carter coming on strong. The champion fighting him off at the ropes. Don't think the champion doesn't want to hold on to this crown. He's waited 16 years to get it. This is his first defense. Giardello, one of the classic fighters. He's gone through several eras of middleweights. And he takes a right, forces Carter to miss the left uppercut. Carter with dynamite in both fists. And he may now feel confident that Giardello can't hurt him. Exchange light left hands. There's a hard right, but Giardello pulled back. You can just see confidence building in the challenger now as Giardello works to the body, but he's fended off by the elbows of Hurricane Carter. It may be that Giardello will go more and more to the body. Right to the body, this time by Carter. He pushes Giardello into the ropes, muscles him into the ropes. Carter weighed 158 and a quarter. Giardello 160 on the button. There's a hard right by the champion, and he gets hit again with a left hand. And Carter comes right back and gives more than he takes. Hurricane Carter hit with a hard right, came back and clips the champion and hits him again with a left hand. Carter coming on strong now. Giardello works to the body, but it's Carter throwing the dynamite. And Giardello fighting for survival. Here, there's the bell. End of round six. And now we return you to your local channel for station identification. I know. We're about ready now, Les, for the round coming up, but Joey Giardello seems to be patient. Round number seven, Hurricane Carter in superb physical condition. We mentioned Giardello being in the best shape of his career. Carter doesn't seem to even be breathing hard. This is round seven, and Carter has had three big rounds in a row, four, five, and six, and he really reached Giardello's chin in round number six. Joey, champion that he is, class that he has, now facing the test. Can he fight off this supremely confident, hard-hitting challenger? Giardello doing more holding now than he did in the early rounds, trying to keep Carter at bay and not let him get an open shot with that powerful right hand. He also has a blockbuster of a left. Giardello been a defensive fighter over the last three rounds. Necessarily, he hits hit in the ear and hit on the body as he ties up Carter. Carter unmarked thus far. And anybody said that Carter would run out of gas after four rounds hasn't seen him lately. He looks as fresh as a daisy. Joey just jabs away at him, getting off the ropes. Then he ties up Carter. Joey's wrestling him a lot now. Trying to wear him down. That left eye is starting to trickle again. The left of the body by Giardello got through.
Giardello's landing that left jab, but it doesn't seem to have the sting it had in the early rounds. Wild uppercut thrown by Carter, missed. He still stalks the champion. In close. Joey Inno crouching up again at long range. Left to the chin. Carter, and it jolts. Misses a wild right, and he's tied up. Carter throwing jolting punches now. Giardello looks a little worse for wear. Neither man has been down. Right to the body, a pip by Joey, and now Carter's bleeding for the first time at the nose. Slight cut at the nose. Joey's cut, looking a little worse for wear. Of course, Carter has that Fu Manchu mustache, and it's misleading sometimes. Working at the body, and the crowd picking up the crescendo. It's entirely possible that we miss red the blood and it's just that mustachio hanging down. No mistake about Giardello's cut. Giardello with a combination. Joey coming back here in round number seven. But always the threat of the bomb by Mr. Carter. He continues to stalk. The bell ending round seven. You know you'll always enjoy a spectator sport like this so much more if you watch it with a great companion, like Schmitz of Philadelphia, just watch this. Beautiful beer. Schmitz of Schmitz is a dry beer, a mellow beer, a hearty beer, blended into one beautiful beer. Schmitz! One beautiful beer. Schmitz is blended into one beautiful beer. Take it from me, sports fans, you'll be doing yourself one beautiful favor when you pick yourself up a six-pack of one beautiful beer. Schmitz of Philadelphia. The buzzer for round number eight. And at the end of the seventh round, for the first time, Carter seemed to be tiring a little. Just a little bit less. That right hand of the body might have done the business at the end of that round. All right, we could be at a turning point one way or the other. This is round eight. The fight is scheduled for 15 rounds or less for the middleweight championship of the world. Giardello the champion, Carter the challenger. Nobody has really landed anything thus far in round eight. Giardello caught that left on his glove. Giardello's left doesn't seem to bother Carter. Carter lands a left to the ear. There you see Joey tying him up again. Looked at his corner briefly. To the body by Carter, left hand Giardello. More sting than he had in the last three rounds with it. Champion in a fight for his life with this fellow. Well, there's the counter suggestion. Someone yelled, keep moving, Joey. Someone else yelled, stand still, Joey. They settled down to boxing. Here's a long right to the body that uh, Giardello took backing away. A left to the body by Giardello that slows up Carter. His guard dropped, and that reached home. Giardello to the body, his best weapon. But Carter comes back with a right hand and takes a right and a left, and Giardello catches his left on the elbow. The master craftsman that is Giardello showing through here in round eight as he peppers the challenger. Carter seemingly is reaching a little more than he did earlier. This fight could go either way here. We're late in round number eight. Neither man has been down. Joey's cut eye is in good shape at the moment. His cut man did a fine job. Carter is wilder than he was in the fourth, fifth, and sixth rounds. He's landing on the back and on the shoulders. Credit Giardello. 
Another left to the body by Joey. And he's working Carter in the midriff now. And he may be slowing him up. That may be a strategy. Late in round number eight, ducks under the looping right thrown by Carter. Earlier, that right was landing. Now it's landing on the shoulder blades in the back. The bell, end of round eight. Say, this is a honey of a fight. Well, now, what do you think? Here's a good spot for a beer, right? Better make it Schmitz. Make it one beautiful beer. Just nothing quite like it because Schmitz is the blended beer. A light beer, a mellow beer, a hearty beer, blended into one beautiful beer. Now you ask for it just that way. Say, one beautiful beer, please. And right away, the man behind the counter or the man behind the bar knows you want beer as beer should be. Schmitz of Philadelphia. Beautiful. Well, despite the fact that Joey has taken some rocketing punching, Les, as you said, Carter has definitely slowed down in the last two rounds. And Joey's working into that body. He's fighting a fight that a man of seven years senior would fight. He's getting inside, and he has definitely slowed the charge there, of the rocket charge of Mr. Carter. Here's back to Les Kiter. Carter's record, 20 wins, four losses, and of his wins, 13 have been KOs. This is round number nine for the middleweight title. of left hands continues. Giardella was cut in round four, again late in round five. Since then, no bleeding. A hard left, Carter, Giardello ducking away. No question that both men are in superb physical condition for this one. It's been an on-again, off-again Finnegan affair since October. Right back of the neck by Carter. That's the kind of a punch that Patterson knocked out Johansson in their third fight in Florida. Right back of the neck. One minute deep into round number nine at Convention Hall in Philadelphia. A right thrown by Carter, and he landed. And he has Giardello against the ropes. Bob Polis, the referee, breaks them. Carter's brightest moment in the last three rounds. He throws the left to the body. Stamina, he's loaded with it. He smiles now. He being Carter. Left top of the head, Joey ducks under it. Right taken on the elbow by Giardello, who comes back with a left and a right to the chest. Obviously, Joey's strategy is to work downstairs. Carter's strategy, find that opening and hit one. Left to the nose, Giardello. Joey fainted with a left, held back. They both miss. Stamina is going to tell from here on. We're late in round number nine. Left to Giardello's right eye as he backed away. Still throwing the bomb, Hurricane Carter from Patterson, New Jersey. And takes a right on the ear, thrown by Joey as they exchange hard rights. Left to the nose, Carter. Carter blocked Joey's left hand with his glove. The bell, end of round number nine, Hal Newman, Hal Freeman. Certainly their fitness, both of these competitors, their fitness is unquestioned, Les. They're both in supreme and superb condition. But Carter has slowed the rocket, uh, the rocket punching that he had early, and Joey is fighting the the style that he apparently wants to fight. He's using that infighting in the body, and he, he made a, a uh, kind of a grimace to his uh, corner there 
They seem to think that he might have been hurt by one of Carter's shots in that round, but he shrugged it off. He came back, and as you had pointed out, uh, the, the bullet is gone. The bomb is, is really gone. Now, Carter seems to be a mixture at, at this point. He has a little bit of the what the old-timers used to talk about, Stanley Ketchell, the swashbuckling kind of a knockout, the punch, uh, some of Mickey Walker, and, and I think to, that we're seeing a little bit of Rocky Graziano in Reuben Carter. But Joey is, is cool and calm. Here's Les. Round number 10. The smart, tough veteran, the champion Giardello, and the most explosive slugger in the 160-pound division, Hurricane Carter. This is round number 10. 15 to the title. The crowd picking up steam. Carter with that leer again as he fastens it on the champion. Neither man down, one cut, and it seems okay. Giardello's left eyebrow, round four and five. We're now in round 10. Joey blocking a left to the body, landing a left to the body as Carter backs away. Carter smiling more than he did before. Does he know something or has he been hurt? Wild right hand, Carter left to the head, Carter. Joey works in close, takes a hard right to the top of the head. Carter having a big moment again, but Joey, smart, crafty veteran, getting himself out of the box he was in. Crowd picking up steam, the fight continuing at its same pace with Carter stalking the champion, champion countering. Giardello begins to move into high gear. We have a fight right to our right now at ringside that has nothing to do with the two men in the ring. The bald-pated Carter fighting to win the crown. Giardello fighting to defend it. Carter with what almost was a bolo punch, the back of the ear. We're in round number 10 and a body attack by the champion. A right by Carter and then Joey ducks under him. Left to the body by the champion. Another left misses by Carter. Joey works in close with the right hand. We are in round number 10. A right block by Carter's elbow. Carter lands a light left to the nose. Giardello crouching, straightening up, then caking a hard left to the air thrown by the challenger. Carter boxed his ear that time. And a left and right by Carter, who then misses the left hand. Joey with a light pouring left, then the left to the body. A looping right by Giardello, and then Carter misses the countering left hand. Giardello forcing him to miss. And the bell, and Giardello hit at the bell, ending round 10. You're watching the middleweight boxing championship of the world, being brought to you from Philadelphia by that great Philadelphia beer, Schmitz. One beautiful beer. Schmitz of Philadelphia. One beautiful beer. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Beautiful. Yes, Schmitz is a dry beer, a mellow beer, a hearty beer, blended into one beautiful beer. Schmitz of Philadelphia. That's the beautiful beer. Beer as beer should be. A great companion for any sport, and especially for this championship fight, as we enter round number 11. And here's Hal Freeman. Les, they kind of ruffled... They kind of ruffled Carter there. They made the referee come over and had him put his belt down. Apparently the safety belt was up a little bit high and Giardello's corner had uh, complained about it. Arnold Giovanetti, his business manager, had gone over and asked Bob Polis to get it. Now here's round 11 and Les Kiter. And we have an angry Hurricane Carter as Bob Polis made them adjust his belt and Carter didn't like it one bit. That belt was getting higher and higher. All right, let's see what an angry Carter does. He's now tugging at his belt as he goes out to meet Giardello in the 11th round. 
He hit Joey at the bell, and some of the fans booed that. Round number 11, and the title hangs in the balance here. Two-thirds of the way through the middleweight championship fight at Convention Hall in Philadelphia. And Carter missed all three of those punches. Joey is making him miss more and more. Of course, every one of them carries a message if it lands. The referee is Bob Polis of Philadelphia. The challenger from Patterson landed a light left, backed away from Joey's right. Left to the eye, Giardello. Giardello blocked with his glove, landed a short right. Giardello's fight number 127. Number 25 in the career of Hurricane Carter. He's 20 and 4. You can see that belt about two inches over the back of Carter's trunks extended up toward his back. About four inches up there now. Like a slap on the face with the left hand, Carter. Giardello to the body, in close. We are midway through round number 11. Left to the body, Giardello. Carter missing a combination. Giardello definitely fighting his own kind of fight now. Countering, bobbing, weaving, ducking, forcing the contender to miss. Lands a sharp left in close. About a, less than a minute to go, round 11. Neither man down, neither man hurt. One cut eye. Giardello round four and five. It's okay now. Carter is probing. Not swinging as often, but he's probing. There he wings and misses by about three inches over the top of the head. A hard left by Carter, and then he misses the answering left hand to Giardello's left. Misses by Carter, a left and a right. These misses, of course, count in the scoring against you. There's a left to the face by each man. Round 11, almost over. The champion fighting a typical champion type of fight. Every time Carter moves in on him, Joey counters and forces Carter to miss the bell ending round 11 and hell. Joey may have a little cut on the side of his nose, uh, right on the face there, or perhaps it's a deep smear, but there is some blood there. But certainly after 11 rounds less, I think we have to agree, he seems to have as much stamina as Reuben Carter, and there's a seven year difference between the fighters. Giardello seems ready to go on to finish this fight and to go fill 15 full rounds if he has to. He doesn't seem a bit tired, and of course Carter has slowed down considerably. We're just about ready now for round 12, and uh, Joey and Reuben both staring uh, at each other across the, and here we're back into Joey's corner. They're working feverishly there, but he seems to be in pretty good physical condition. He's trained awfully hard for this fight. Back to Reuben Carter's corner. He still is concerned about that belt, and he's looking down as they adjust it. Here's Les Carter in round 12. The referee over-talking to Pat Amato, the manager of Hurricane Carter. Joey nodding to friends at ringside, talking uh, to his seconds. Here we go to round number 12. Four rounds to go for the title, and a hard right cross thrown by the champion. Oh, stinging left to the cheekbone. Carter. Carter missing the right. Tied up by the champ. Referee Polis working more and more as they tie each other up more and more. Joey takes a left, forces Carter to miss a right and a left. Giardello fighting the classic craftsman's fight. Now working in close. Takes a short jolting right in close by Carter. Carter unmarked. Giardello relatively so. What you see is collodion and protection for the eyebrow cut he sustained in the fourth round. Now, Carter. Now, Carter. Carter. Hard left to the body by the champion. And he has Carter against the ropes. Carter. Round 12. A right to the chin and then an answering left 
straight jolt by Carter. They exchange hard lifts in close, and the punches are beginning to land on both of them. The attacks picking up here in the 12th. Still no mark on Hurricane Carter. This is the right, tied up immediately in Giardello's corner. Halfway through round number 12, middleweight championship at stake. Giardello lands a hard left to the chin and forces Carter to miss the right. And it's Carter holding on for the first time here in round 12. Joey uncorked one to the chin that time. Carter probes, comes in, throws a short right. Joey ties him up, counters. Slipping, bobbing, countering the champion from Philadelphia. Nice left hand by Hurricane Carter. Almost a bolo punch again. Shades of Kid Gavilan. Only Carter hits much harder than the kid ever hit. And Joey alert to the hitting power and the heaviest puncher in the 160 pound division. Reuben Hurricane Carter. This is the 12th round. And the first punch that Joey's landed on top of that bold pate. And Joey with combinations and then forcing Carter to miss. Hard left by Hurricane Carter. Right over our microphone. Late in round number 12. The bell ending the 12th round. Been some beautiful fighting here tonight. The kind of top performance you can expect from a couple of real pros. And when you look for top performance in a beer round after round, you'll find it in Schmidt. Good idea to buy Schmidt's in the pack or the four pack of big 16 ounce glass cans. That way you'll always be ready to pour one beautiful beer. Giardello uh, uh, must come back now pretty strong in these next few rounds, Les. It, it appears that he would be behind in points. He's not hurt. But I think that he's a little behind in the points. Here's round 13 to Les Kiner. Three rounds to go, nine minutes of fighting, and they've pulled Carter's pants up high in front, and they're low in back with that belt out about four or five inches. The next three rounds could well determine the winner in this one. Carter missing the right hook. 30 seconds into round number 13. A miss by Carter again, tied up by the champion. From the rear, it looks like Carter has a well-laced corset. Joey waiting for Carter to make his move here in round number 13. And then Joey in with a light left that misses. They both miss left. The action slowing here in the 13th so far. A straight left jab to the chin of the champion. Carter with a hard left under the right eye, but Giardello was moving clockwise away from the force. Then lands a left and forces Carter to miss the uppercut. Les Kiter and Hal Freeman at ringside, Convention Hall, Philadelphia, PA. Left to the eye by the, champ the challenger. Not too much effect. Halfway through round 13. Joey backed away from a loaded right. Takes a light left to the body. Carter pushes him against the ropes just off Giardello's corner. Referee Bob Polis breaks the mat. Little less than two and a half rounds remain. Carter's right hand missing again. Left to the body by the champion and then a right to the chin. And he forces Carter to miss. Heavy scoring by champion Giardello now. Joey coming on strong in the latter part of round 13. Giardello.
missing as Carter backed away from that left. The combination by the champion again. Not too much of force that time. There's a hard left. Giardello hit on the chin, takes one of the nose, but then lands a hard right to the body of Carter. And Giardello coming on strong now, forcing Carter to miss twice at the bell, ending round 13. Well, Giardello is now displaying the technique of a true champion. He's forcing Carter to miss those the punches. He's belting in the stomach. He's working low in the stomach, the chest area, and he's staying away from those murderous punches of the Reuben Carter display, Les Kiter. All right, Hal, the experience showing through in that 13th round. Hurricane Carter with two more rounds to go after the champion. Left top of the head, Giardello out of the trouble. The cut eyebrow was sustained in round four and five. Since then, no trouble for Giardello's eye. Carter throwing heavy dynamite in close now. This is round 14. Watch Giardello bobbing, weaving, forcing Carter to miss. Left to the body by the champion. And forcing Carter to miss the countering left. Another left the body by the champion. Carter with a left to the chin, but Giardello backing away. Carter with a light left to the eye. And bombs away in close. Joey really pelted him in the middle that time. But Carter with that laden right hand right after him. Carter very dangerous with a countering right after the body punches. A minute into round number 14. About five minutes left in this fight. Left to the body, the champion. And he's really getting home of that left. Conceivably, there's a left by Carter to the body. Conceivably, the champion winning in the last three rounds with a body attack. And then forcing Carter to miss, 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 and get tied up. Boy, does that experience show now. This is the longest hurricane Carter has ever fought. We're in round 14. He's never been in a ring this long. In competition, that is. So the test, how, and a hard left to the chin by Joey Giardello, and that one registered. But Carter still dangerous, left to the body by the champion, who then neatly ties him up. Experienced craftsman that he is, he's showing it now, the champ Joey Giardello. And a shade of desperation on the part of Hurricane Carter now, as Giardello works him in close. And you'll notice he fends off the attack, lets Carter miss, and then comes back to the body. Carter on the desperate side for the first time. Lands a hard left to the cheek. Late in round 14. Forcing Carter to miss the uppercut. Joey is very deft in tying up his opponent just at the height of his momentum. Takes a lot of the starch out of him, a hard left that was caught half on the glove by Carter. The bell and around 14. Well, it would be difficult at this time to venture a guess as to just who the winner will be at the end of the next round. But one thing we're sure less, those who predicted an early knockout. I think it's fair to relate, neither man has at any time. Neither man has been down. 15th and last round, the champion Giardello, the champion and the challenger Carter, they smile, touch glove. Three minutes to go in the title fight. Carter knows he has to do it now. At least he gives that impression. We're not scoring. There's Carter rocking and rolling and Giardello pretty well tied up that attack. It may be that Joey will be on the defensive throughout this round now if his corners told him he's ahead. Of course, the fight in Philadelphia, and Carter knows he's got to come on strong. Carter throwing bombs in the 15th. Who said he'd be through after four? 
This fellow is as dangerous now as he was at the outset. There's a heart right to the ear and a left by Carter. Right over our microphone and he begins to land. And Joey ties him up. Who knows what a big rally in the 15th will do for the challenger here. If it's close, look out. Two minutes left in the fight. Last round, left to the body, Carter. He continues to wing. A right that is taken on the elbow by Giardello. Yep. Less than two minutes remain. 15th and final round. Neither man down, neither man badly hurt thus far. And a right to the ear by Carter forced Joey to lift his elbow. Then he lands a right to the chin. Giardello countering again. Another left by Giardello, a right by Carter high on the head, and Giardello's left lands again. We're in the final minute and a half of the fight. Round number 15 at Convention Hall, and Joey misses a wild left. Right over our microphone now. And the crowd beginning to applaud. And this is a tribute to both men in a title fight here in the 15th and final round. Less than a minute to go in the final round of the fight. Joey Giardello, champion, Hurricane Carter, challenger. I think there's a lot of respect on both sides. There's a right by the champion, Carter, trying to catch him with a bomb. Joey remaining calm under pressure and just staying out of trouble. Joey just needling him now with his head. Carter missing a left. Joey ties him up, pounds to the body. A master champion who apparently is not going to be hurt in the final round. Listen to the crowd. Tremendous fight. Listen to this crowd. They're whistling and screaming and they're punching upstairs. Carter misses, takes a left. Listen to this fandom. The fight is all but over. Left to the body, it's all over. And they smile, look at that. And that's the fight. Joey Giardello against Ruben Hurricane Carter in the first championship bout to be telecast in five years. All brought to you by one beautiful beer, Schmitz of Philadelphia. When you watch a fight like this, you never know who is going to come out on top. But one thing you can be certain of, every time you open a Schmitz, you get big. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official breakdown of this bout. Judge Jimmy Nina, Giardella, 69, Ruben Carter, 64. <laughs> Judge Dave Belloff, Giardello, 70. Carter, 67. <laughs> Referee Bob Polis, Giardello, 72. Ruben Carter, 66. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner.